This band that we were obsessed with back in high school, Ludo, decided they were gonna do a reunion show. And to say we were excited about that is a little bit of an understatement. And as we're waiting in line to get back into the show, this tall guy just walks up to us. But she seemed to know him, so decided to step back and just watch what was happening. And when he walked away, I just looked at her and I was like, hey Angie, you know he was flirting with you, right? And she looked back at me and said, no, I don't think so. Well, the important thing is that we have, from day one, always had each other's backs, which is important because we suck at life. <laughs> we embody the phrase, task failed successfully. Whenever any of my friends would bring anybody home, I would kind of be like a guard dog, not like a big scary Rottweiler, but like one of those chihuahuas with like the shifty eyes, you know, the whiny ones. Oh, he's shaking. Because a week later, after their totally not a date, she called me to tell me it was definitely a date. Since then, I have loved getting to see their relationship grow and watch them just become better versions of themselves. They are the best match for each other I could ever imagine and I can't wait to watch them keep growing together and help them along the way. I started to do that with Angie, that did not work. She took my crap and she handed it right back, and then some, which was awesome. <laughs> Pretty quick after that, I realized that she wasn't just Grant's girlfriend. She was, had a lot of things in common with me as well, and she's a friend. And I couldn't ask for anything better than my best friend be marrying somebody that I can also call a friend. Angie, when we met nearly 18 years ago, I could not have dreamed that I would be standing up here with you today. Over four years ago, the stars that had to align for me to find you at that concert is astounding, even if I did stack the deck a little bit in my favor. <laughs> now, as I stand beside you today, I cannot begin to describe to you how lucky I am. I'm gonna need a second, sorry guys, just <laughs> composure. I love you beyond words. I vow to always be your partner. Your partner not only in life, but to someone who gets to go to the concerts with you. I didn't get the script. I vow to always be building with you. Whether that's building our relationship or building the alarming amount of Lego sets that you've been accumulating. <laughs> I vow to always try to bring a smile to your face because your smile makes me feel at home. And I vow to love you forever and always. Would you please share your vows? <laughs> How the hell am I 
supposed to follow that? <laughs> I don't remember the first time I saw you, or even the first time that we met. I do, however, remember seeing you one day and thinking, huh, he's pretty cute. His smile is infectious. And his hair is pretty awesome, too. <laughs> my heart knew before my brain did that there was more in store for us. I promise to listen to all of your comic book lore, even when I have no idea what you're talking about, <laughs> because your enthusiasm and love of it is just contagious. I vow to stand by your side, facing whatever life throws at us together as a team, because we're stronger together. I will support you and your decisions, as you have always supported me and mine, like my choice to get married outside in November. <laughs> in Missouri. It's wonderful. <laughs> you have stuck by me through the best and worst and loved me for all that I am. You helped me to be the finest version of myself that I can be. Saying yes to marrying you is one of the easiest choices because I can't imagine my life without you in it. 10,000 lifetimes, 1 million worlds. It would never be enough for me to share with you. Nothing less than forever will do. Gentlemen, by the power vested in me in the state of Missouri, I would now like to pronounce you husband and wife. Grant, you may now kiss your bride. We've been friends a long time, and uh, Grant has absolutely always deserved somebody that not just makes him happy, but enriches his life, and I think Angie is the perfect person for that. Because Grant has like, hang on, carry the one, 346 different hobbies that all need attention. And I think that, I think that Angie has the patience enough to be like, yes dear, this is fantastic. And that makes me happy. But also she's just a nice person. She has what? More board games than Grant, somebody write that down. But they make each other happy and they do the most important thing for all couples, and that is they elevate each other and they make each other the best versions of themselves they could possibly be. And I think that's the best thing any of us can hope for. together into such a beautiful couple and I am just unbelievably happy that I can be here to celebrate that with you two today so I want to raise a toast to you guys I hope that you guys grow in love so strong here's to you raise a toast to their coffins may they be made of a hundred year oak 
and may we plant that tree tomorrow.